Hey guys, for uh, today's episode, I'm going to rebuild the trailer suspension. So as you can see, I have a fair amount of parts here. Okay, this was a trailer suspension kit part there that um, I found this on um, Jason's store, JRRC, on eBay. So we got the lower parts here for under the axles for this, the shocks, top of the axles for hooking the suspension, the plates for the middle there. Um, these are some uh, additional parts for flatbed trailer. Here's your two sides. There's the ones that go here on both sides that hold up a bit. I had to rob those. That is one of those. And then you see which way it goes. Well, that's a good thing to notice because there's a hole here in this side, right? Um, this is a plastic parts tree. I need these guys out of it. I need this guy out of it. And this guy out of it. A little hard to see, but that's for holding the suspension parts together. Here, this is a front axle bag. That's the parts number bag. In there comes a the front axle. This is the um, pin to go across through here, but uh, trailer suspension doesn't use that because it doesn't have the cross member in the plastic thing here, right? And it comes with four sets of springs. That's enough for a front axle and a rear axles because they just flip them over for the rears. Uh, in here is another parts bag. Here's all your step screws, nuts, lock nuts, uh, flange nuts, uh, all kinds of things that you need for your suspension parts. Another bag with two of those blocks for the front, two for the back. More suspension front shock holders. The C clamps to go around here to hold it to the axle. And another bag with the front spindles. This is a rear part that goes inside of here holding the axles stuff together and some ball joints and some c-clips and stuff right so I'm gonna try to get this together the only thing that's missing out of all of this is the screws that actually go down through the axles from one side to the other so another way to do that I have to tap into my monster bag and get the right screws out of it so now I have the parts on the axles so there's the two screws there that uh, is the bottom part it actually sits this way and your shock hooks on into here and then top here goes spring to spring in between so I got that done I put it with the nut down because I figured you know well, it might be a drag on bottom or hit rocks and stuff and it's easier to force a nut off of here than it is to try to drill out or get the driver into a rounded off or like worn out head of a Phillips so I went that way, maybe I should give those a little bit of a tighten up, and I got these all together, so now I just got to work on putting the suspension on the trailer and then uh, like those metal bars that go there, and then uh, should be pretty straightforward after that. And I'm ready to build suspension, arms, the holders, the clamps in between, the springs, the C clamps that go over top of these little ridges here, the two bars. Uh, these two step, step screws, these two screws, these two nuts, and actually these nuts are all leftovers. I'm going to need those for the springs to that area. Uh, those lock nuts go with, um, hmm, maybe there is more to need. Two, three, four, eight, so four, there we go. Eight for that, and whole bunch of other ones here <laughs> there's gonna be not very much left over I don't think once I get these suspensions together so yeah let's get cranking and see what I can get it alrighty so I got the springs assembled together so you see those bars just go over top there they sandwich those two plastic pieces together and it holds the springs there's where they pivot and there's the nuts now I used the uh, lock nuts and normally in the manual wants you to use these flange nuts. They have this uh, bite on the back side here and that actually holds. Like I'm surprised I've never lost one of those off yet if it's tightened properly. So um, I'm just using that because that's what I have. So I've used them before. They work pretty good. There's quite a bit of flux in these, right? So there we go. Uh, I got those done. These are the things I was showing you earlier. They just pop in here and then it makes it easier. It's like a that's like a washer for these. And then the screw goes through there and then it allows it to rotate. 
and then it's kind of stepped again so it kind of holds here and then, you know moves easy and it doesn't squish that plastic because like I can squeeze this and you know well my thumbs touching the plastic but you know hold on to this and so my thumb isn't moving it over but yeah see that works so that well, one way and that the other way and then I gotta attach them onto there with the step screws and more of these guys and uh, I got the manual up for the flat deck just for you know, reference purposes right I think I got everything but you know one side's got stepped step sticking up and the other side just doesn't so you know I gotta make sure you got everything the right way because if you don't it won't work right so uh, next I guess I'm gonna get the springs and these lower arms on these and springs are mounted and as you can see these step screws allow the axles to still pivot because once again they've tightened up but they're stepped so that it doesn't squish the spring just like how you know that didn't squish the plastic when those pegs are in so uh, got that so far and then now the next part will be uh, well yeah I think I'll get these across the bottoms Alrighty, suspension's mocked up. And you can see here I have all the screws in just so you can see where they are when it's up on the on the truck or well trailer for this one. So these here are different. They're three by eighteen millimeters, these are three by fourteen. So those don't work there. So I had to kind of rob them out of the twin steer truck again because this is going back together and staying together. I did find another bag with some other uh, insert type step screws regular screw but there's an insert like this and that's what they used for those I don't feel like using that for the trailer so this is just kind of mocked up here now so anyhow I'm gonna have to take uh, these two screws here on this side out again and this one and then this is just gonna slide up onto the frame rail of the trailer it's gonna slide up here and it's gonna go into these three holes right here and then all I gotta do is poke the screws through tighten them on and then uh, we'll get to putting the shocks back together. Got the main axles over, got the one main screw into there. So before tightening this on, I'm going to stick the other couple through, get her level and stuff before, you know, the screws are all, you know, the nuts are all on and you can't move it. <laughs> Alright, like an hour later, I got my screws in place. So I'm going to just go around and tighten those up. The suspension moves pretty good actually, so I'm happy. Yeah, it's working great. I'm gonna get these tightened up and then we'll work on these uh, the shocks, getting them mounted. So there we go, got the shocks back on. Hey, that's where all the squeaky squeaky comes from. Maybe I should oil them someday. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm gonna have to find some uh, loner wheels too, because uh, yeah, the uh, twin axle there it kind of borrowed them at the moment I don't know maybe I'll just throw some axials on there for now there's lots of clearance well I'm not sure if it was the heat or smoking something I shouldn't have been but uh, I completely forgot over there on that side I left that mover thing that I had for the show I completely forgot it was even here so I stole the tires off of it they're nice and shiny but they aren't actually Tamiya, they are Lesu. And you can tell, because you have the marks there, but there's nothing on the other side. Nothing says Tamiya. So, let's get them on and uh, let's see how she looks with some nice shiny wheels. There we go, they're all on there. That one's got a nice wobble to it, I don't know why. <laughs> the rest of them are cruising pretty good. Yeah, look at that, just dickered. And so to wrap up this video, there's a picture of her all laying down. Nice shiny tires. They must use a tire shine or something on them. But yeah, it's a bright day out today. As you can tell, they're having problems with the iris balancing. So I got some uh, stickers on this trailer, but not a lot, right? So uh, next upgrade, I think, is going to be a motorized leg support for down there. Figure might as well. This is my my one and only flat deck right so I might as well make her good uh, I gotta dig into this and figure out what's wrong with it cause uh 
I got no brake lights. I got signals back there, but I got no brakes. We're gonna DOT will be busting balls if I don't get that fixed. Uh, I don't think I gotta. Maybe I have to pull up the boards. Who knows? That could be another day project, though. I've done enough for today. It's uh, I don't know. If it wasn't working, it'd be beer o'clock. It's already um, two o'clock. So that's it for today. So until uh, next time, guys. We'll see ya. Any comments, questions, or suggestions, or anything else you're curious about, just leave a comment down below, and I'll make sure to get back to you. So until next time, see you guys. Enjoy the trucks.